Hello everyone, we are going to present about Caterpillar. This company is very well known and it operates in the heavy machinery and mining equipment. Caterpillar designs, develops, manufactures and sells its heavy equipment to its customers, but it also finances and sells insurance to them. Caterpillar was created um, in 1950, and since it set its inception, it has acquired more than 40 companies. So the strength of Caterpillar is that they have a large product and service portfolio. They also have a global dealer network. They have a lot of distributors around the world, and they also focus a lot on innovation. Some of the weaknesses is that for some reason, these past three years, have they, they have experienced decline in revenues and profits and also a big share of the revenue comes from uh, the U.S. markets. Some of the opportunities of Caterpillar is that a lot of developing countries are going through urbanization, so Caterpillar can enter the market and also they can do more acquisitions. So some of the threats of Caterpillar is that Caterpillar is facing regulatory issues and large corporations around the world are facing uh, government oversight. Also with the pandemic, uh, there has been a decline in demand for heavy uh, machinery, heavy uh, heavy equipment manufacture, and also with Omicron, uh, there's going to be a, a, a demand. There's going to be a, a, an increase in the supply chain shortage. All right, and now to talk about the current stock price of Caterpillar, we can see over here that around May 2021 it reached its higher price of two hundred and forty dollars. Now we see a slight decrease, but because of the area in which this stock is plotted in right now, it may seem like it's a bit volatile, but it's not that volatile when you see it in the comparison of five years. We can also see the market cap of $103.6 billion, which makes its um, market cap like one of the greatest among its competitors, which we'll evaluate right now, and we'll continue that now. So its main competitors are Sandvik, Eprock, and Hitachi, and these have an enterprise value of 32.1 billion, 28.9 billion, and 77.69 billion, respectively, which makes them large and similar in size. However, Caterpillar has been in the market for so long that it has such a huge um, set of businesses over here in the United States, while others operate mainly from Europe and are facing more of supply chain issues with the pandemic. As we can see, we were able to calculate the book to value market multiple, and uh, as you can see, there is no out, there is no outlier. So therefore, we were able to do the average to calculate the average in order to get the book value market multiple of Caterpillar. Also, at first, we were we did the book value market multiple for dear companies. However, its multiple was too too off, so therefore we didn't include we didn't include in the table. And here, Epiroc has the highest uh, market multiple, and this means that its uh, its its level, its price of the stock is higher when compared to the level of earnings. And for some investors, it might seem that the price of the stock is overpriced. So therefore, it's always recommended to always uh, go for a lower uh, lower valuation multiple, since it it can it it's greatly associated with uh, greater shareholder returns. So these are Caterpillar's historical trends. So for total assets, there has been it has been very stable for the past four years, and for total liabilities, it has been on decline. So we can conclude that Caterpillar has been staying on top on its debt. Now we try to forecast the growth of the revenue for Caterpillar. We refer to the annual report and. Uh, also the professional opinions like uh, analyst reports and we uh, major focus on the revenue growth and uh, the change of profit, uh, profit margin one noticeable uh, event in the 10k is uh, in the beginning of 2021 Caterpillar acquired SPM oil and gas from Wear Group which we recognize as a, a positive side for its growth and also it has the potential to decrease its cost of energy like oil and gas Also, we take our own consideration into this progress. 
we think about both downside and upside of the current world. Uh, on the positive side, since the world is recovering from the pandemic, uh, the construction in, the mo in most places of the world are recovering as well, which brings more business for Caterpillar and will help, help them get back to their uh, normal uh, pre-pandemic level. But there is also a potential risk, which is the uh, rising of the new Omicron virus, which causing trouble in Africa and also bring on uncertainty to the world. And that also brings another uh, point is that in the undeveloped areas and countries, those countries can't constrain the pandemic very well, uh, which will slow their recovery rates uh, down. Here we have plotted the total sales forecast for Caterpillar. As we can see, on the first four years, we plotted the known uh, values that we have from their 10Ks. On 2020, as we expect from the COVID pandemic, we see that Caterpillar has a dip. However, we don't expect that to continue into perpetuity. So for those reasons, for 2021, we forecast a revenue increase, a sharp increase by having a very high revenue growth rate for this year. However, after that, we decrease that and stabilize it. That way we can stabilize the total sales for the company over the next five years. When we dig, dig deeper into the growth rate, we can see its per region allocation. Here, we very, no, very easy notice that North America on 2020 was the most hit area. However, for the next year, we reverse this trend. We can, um, we can make that assumption because North America is actually a place where construction has already begun again and it's booming very, very, very nicely. However, for other areas like Latin America or the Asia Pacific, those are struggling a little bit more with um, investment in construction. Having those two things in mind, we can forecast our profit margin for Caterpillar. As we mentioned, we have a dip in 2020, but then a slight increase for the next years and continue at the same rate for a stable growth rate. Uh, with our forecast uh, data ready, we then move to our web calculation. For the beta part, uh, we refer to multiple websites and get uh, five beta values. Since we find them uh, are very similar, so we just took the average of the beta and use that in our final calculation. Uh, for the cost of that, we use the three uh, estimate methods and uh, choose the medium value, which is 1.4%. And for the cost of ability, we use the beta we average from a multiple website and the risk bridge and market premium and get us. 7.3% uh, cost of equity, and that leads to the final work of 5.9%. All right, in order to evaluate our valuation model, we considered CAT's closing price of 191.47 as of December 1st, and now we will show you the adjustments we made to the statements in regards to the NFL, the equity value, and the share price. We saw our data uh, put into the valuation model and the estimate of the net pair, which gives us the final estimate share price of 235.51, uh, compared to the uh, close price of November 1st, which is 205.38. Uh, our estimate share price is uh, about 15% higher than the market, uh, which says that uh, in our valuation, Caterpillar is undervalued. And uh, here is a, a sensitivity check table. Uh, since our uh, estimated share price uh, is way, low, uh, is way higher than the uh, uh, market price, so the minor change of the uh, either growth rate or the WAC won't bring the uh, price lower than the market price. All right, and now we pass on to our analyst forecast, which we evaluated throughout the period of 12 months, and we used 21 analysts from reliable sources such as Yahoo Finance and Bloomberg to estimate that there would be a median price of $235 for the CAT stock, which represents a 22.7% increase from today's price. 
And we can see over here in this chart how it is explained in more detail and that recommend for us to buy CAT or for investors to do so. So the forecasted CAT spot price is 235. So uh, December 1st CAT spot price is 191.47. And November 1st, stock price was 205.38. So as we can see, the stock price is undervalued and our forecast suggests that the price will increase 200, uh, 235.51. So therefore, we recommend for you to purchase CAT stocks. Thank you.